Today I'm going to talk to you about what you can do to keep your subject the focus of your painting. I have kind of an advantage with this because I draw people and animals as my main subject matter and those things have faces. We as humans are drawn to things with faces, whether they're real or not. So if your subject has a face, you don't have to worry about anything else. People's eyes are going to go right to it. That being said, there are things you can do to maximize the chances that people's eyes will go where you want them to when they're looking at your painting. And I'm going to be using some of my pieces as examples. Look at these four pieces that have come up on my screen now. In three out of four of them, the subject takes up 50% or more of the surface. Because the serval cat in this painting, the okapis in this painting, and the monkey in this painting pretty much dominate the space. Your eye can't help but be drawn to them. And another thing you can do is make your subject the most detailed part of the piece. Now if you want the viewer's eyes to wander around when they're looking at your painting, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want the viewer to zoom in on one particular part, the worst thing you can do is have equal amounts of detail everywhere on the piece. You can also make your subject stand out by contrasting it with your background. That's what I did in the painting Incoming Okapi. You see the background is very dark and almost like a blackish green and then I have this lighting on the Okapis that really makes them stand out. You could also use a simple design and then make your subject the only thing of its kind in the painting. That's what I did in the painting Incoming Swan. Now the swan in this painting is not very big. It only takes up about 30 to 40 percent of the surface. But because the design is simple and it's the only swan in the piece, in fact, it's the only animal in the piece, period, your eye goes there. Lastly, something I personally do all the time is make it pretty much the only thing in the painting. I mean, you literally just have a background and your subject. And that's why I did in all these portraits and in House Sparrow and Tyler the Dog and numerous other pieces. So I hope this video has given you some insight into how you can direct the viewer's focus where you want it to go. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, click that like button down there. I put videos out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays usually. So if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking this button right here. And while you're at it, tap the bell down there to turn on notifications. And for now, thanks for watching.